Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Farm Simulator 22. It's our very first farm, and we are continuing to work to build it up into something really cool. In the last episode, we talked about our new uh, grass cutting operation that we have set up here. We have a uh, combination mower set up in the front with a quick bale system in the back and an auto baling trailer that follows along behind and grabs the grass as we go. Um, for now, we're focusing just on doing grass. So all of our fields over here, the, the, all of the fields that we've bought so far, this is all going to be grass. I'm going to turn this field into parking eventually. I'll, I'll put a big shed over here to have all of our implements and everything inside. But for now, um, we have advanced to the point where we need to fertilize this field because it's uh, two out of three on the growth stage, which means it has advanced. So let's go ahead, hop into our tractor. We'll get the, let's see, we'll get the, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I was trying to switch to this trailer there. Get that, get that decoupled. We'll get this decoupled. We'll grab our fertilizer spreader and we'll grab, it is only 50% fertilized, right? Yeah, all of that's 50% fertilized. So let's grab our fertilizer spreader. We'll fertilize all of our grass, so that way we can maximize our harvest. Uh, if you're just joining the series now, we've, we're just we're really building up a silage operation at the moment. Go ahead and get some uh, fertilizer delivered, so we have enough to go all the way across. I do have the de the store delivery mod, which charges a small fee and drops it off at a location of my choosing. Uh, there's a key bind that you can set to set that uh, wherever you want it to be. I've chosen to have it here at the front of my farm so that it's very quick and I don't have to drive all the way down to the store every time I need to buy something because that's very that's a very big pain. <laughs> so let's go ahead hop in here. I do have the GPS guided steering mod. That's what you're seeing right now with the line popping out but because this is such a, uh, a wide tool. Hmm. Are we not Oh, I know what's happening. Some of this is already at 100% fertilized, and that's why it's not showing up. It's like, why is some of this not showing up as being fertilized? But that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and fertilize this field. Then we'll run over and fertilize the entire other section over there. I like to do a little swing around at the last second because it feels like it saves me some time. We'll hop over here and start on this one, and I'll do a quick cut so you don't have to watch me do the entire process, because I know that can be kind of boring. So we'll get our little turn right in here, get ourselves kind of lined up, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, we're getting ready to finish up fertilizing this over here. Just got to do a couple little sweeping motions to finish off all of this. Get our swath all the way over there. I, I'm at the point now where I'm not worried about 100% coverage of every little thing that I do. I'm just trying to hurry up and get these things done. Once you do these enough, you start getting to the point where you're just like, I don't want to, I'm ready to be done. <laughs> I'm going to just hurry up and get this stuff done as quickly as possible. So we're going to get our fertilizer spreader put away, and then we're going to advance time so that we can get to our next grass, or maybe we're going to get to our next grass harvest. Hold on. I need to check my silage here and see where we are as far as our levels. So our production chains menu over here. Yeah, we already sold all of our stuff. I must have bought, oh, that's right. We, I, I, I'm trying to remember what we did the last time. Uh, we ended up, we ended up, uh, we leased, we leased all of this equipment at first. And then with the money that we made from our last harvest, we bought the mowing equipment and I believe the trailer. And the last thing we have on lease is the baler right there. So let's go ahead and get all of this reconnected, and then we're going to advance time until we're ready to do another grass harvest. That's going to be pretty nice. Boom, do that. All right, so let's get this shut off. We don't really have any continuing expenses right now because we haven't gotten to the point where we're ready to do animals. So now it's just a matter of waiting for the grass to grow. So we're going to continue to advance time until we uh, have something to so until the grass grows to the point that we can harvest. So I'll be back when that's ready. All right, we are ready to go. So let's uh, get everything lowered. I am having a hard time figuring out my key binds. <laughs> Thought I had shift V as my lower everything button. There we go. All right. 
And then I always you, you always have to set up your GPS every time you load the game. It doesn't save it the la as, for the last time that you had it. So now we have to set this up in that mode. We want to be going 90 as our directional heading. Let's get this. Uh, let's make sure our. Oh wait, I I had I think I had it set to the right one. I have to disconnect this to set my width for my tool because it's using the widest thing, which is actually the baler because of the special feature that it has. Let's get this lined up. Eventually. Get ourselves put on course and get everything turned on. What is my turn every is it the back? Okay, there we go. Uh so many key mines you have to remember. So this is cutting and then bailing, and then I have the auto the auto loading trailer that will gather up the bales as we drive by. I have found this to be significantly faster than the forage wagon solution that I had before because you can you can hold a lot more bales, a lot more material in the form of bales on this trailer than you can um, loose for loose grass uh, in a forage wagon. I imagine it's probably a lot of it's just the compacting aspect of it. So we're going to swing around like this. Get this lined up properly and then get ourselves set up on the GPS. So we'll go back up and down, up and back a couple of times and then we'll head over to the other field. All right, we're finishing up this little strip. I, I kind of messed up my lining up of everything because I forgot that the this field has a it kind of goes deeper on the left side than this field does, and I should have just left it where it was and it would have been fine. But whatever, I do things and you forget and you mess up and you eventually hopefully learn from your mistakes and don't do those again. <laughs> That's all right though. We need to get over to the other field. Let's get uh, let's see let's get this folded up so that we can. I probably didn't need to fold this up, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and do it anyways. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start a headland, a couple of headland passes so we can just go back and forth really quick. Let's get this turned on now. So I'm going to go up and back once, and then we'll go down to the other end, go up and back once, because I find that I have a harder time um, turning around over there because of the, the foam poles at the other end and then the trees on this end. Now this tractor is pretty underpowered. Well, I don't want to say it's underpowered, but it's as compared to what I normally the tractor, the bigger tractor I normally use for all of this. It's underpowered and it really struggles to hold the speed. I turned it too early. Hold on. Let me get over here. We want to be on this row. I think. Right some. Move over. I don't know why that doesn't work sometimes. But that's okay. So we'll come up over here. We'll loop around and we'll do a couple of head headland passes in this direction, so that we have so that way we have room to turn around because it gets really hard to turn around once you get over to that telephone pole over there or the power line, power line pole. So I like to come over here and just do something like this and do at least one of these. But since I kind of want to go back. Well, no. We'll, we'll do this one. We'll turn around and we'll go up and back. That way we can uh, minimize the waste. Oh, and you just saw the bale situation happening, so that's cool. Yeah, my this tractor really struggles to go uphill with this setup. All right, so I'm going to stop here for a second. Can I get this to move over now? Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't moving over before. And normally, you don't have to stop or anything like that. It'll just move for you, but it was just it wouldn't it wouldn't adjust when I was coming back up this way. All right, so same thing over and over again. We run up and back, run up and back, run up and back, and then we'll be ready to go drop this stuff off at the silo over there. So I'll be back when we're pretty close to being done with that. All right, we are finishing up the last of our grass cutting. I'm not going to bother with that strip because it's just going to take a lot of time to go back down there and come back. So let's go ahead and get our mower turned off. Get ourselves located over here by the silo and drop off all of this stuff. Uh, let's see. I always have to bring the menu back up. So turn the auto baler off, unload it into the silo. It will get absorbed. There we go. Get this all folded up. And now we need to fertilize again because you have to fertilize every time you cut the grass to get the maximum yield. 
So let's get this parked back over here. We'll do another an, another a fertilizing cycle. This is a very repetitive cycle here at first because there just isn't really much else to do until we get uh, enough money to start buying cows and stuff. And that takes a while, if I'm honest. So let's get this dropped off. We'll grab our fertilizer. And it's just the same cycle over and over again. So these episodes are going to be a little bit repetitive at first until we make enough money to start buying some animal equipment. Go ahead and get down here. There we go. So I'm going to fertilize these fields and I'll be back when we're ready to advance time again. All right, I did have to go back and buy another pallet. I ran out, or another bag of fertilizer. It did run out right as I was getting ready to finish the field, but that's all right. So that's the uh, that's the cycle that we end up doing. Uh, this is going to be, we got to do this two more times before the end of the year, and then we can sell off our silage. And hopefully have enough money to pay off our baler. So we'll get this parked. We'll get ourselves hooked back up again and advance time to where we're ready to do the mowing again <laughs> it's very very repetitive but this uh this first farm is going to be like that um i've learned a lot in my own farm i will take you guys once we're once we're getting pretty close to i don't know you guys let me know in the comments if you're following if you're actually following this and you have an interest in seeing the other farm let me know in the comments and we'll see about putting together an episode for that what am i doing uh, I think what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to... I'm, I'm, I have it in my head that I need to position myself somewhere, and I just went the wrong direction. I need to set myself up at the top here. We'll get our GPS and all that stuff set up so that uh, we can just advance time and then immediately get to where we're ready to go. So let's lower this. Is this it's almost set up where we need it to be. Come on. Pretty frustrating when the controls don't respond. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to get rid of that. We need to resize that. And then we can reattach that. Okay. Did it get bigger again? I don't think so. All right, so that's where we want to be. And then we just need to make sure we go up and back and up and back and up and back. Okay, so let's get the attractor turned off. And we're just going to sit here and wait for it to be harvested. I do have a, mo I do have a mod that allows me to sleep anywhere, uh, which makes it very convenient for situations like this where you need to advance several months while you're waiting on crops to grow. You don't have to keep running back and forth to go sleep and then come back and check and then go back and sleep and then go back and check. And it's nice to just have that visual confirmation, even though I know it takes, f uh, what, three months or something like that to go from harvested to actually ready to go. I just like to be able to sit there and actually see a visual verification that, yes, it's done, it's ready, let's go. So we'll advance our time, we'll get started on the mowing, and this time I'll just do all of the mowing off camera so we can hurry up and get to the next part where we're going to advance to the next, the, th the third and final mowing for the year. Okay, so we need one more one more uh, month to get to the full on ready to ready to mow. We're almost there, and then ideally we'll have enough silage sold that we'll be able to pay off our baler and maybe even. I'm thinking we I'm thinking we might want to consider upgrading our tractor. All right, let's get all of this done. Oh, why did it turn? Okay. Let's get this set back to 90 degrees. And then get it set back on. I don't know why it changed. So lesson for that I just learned here is don't set your stuff up beforehand. Let's get this down. There we go. Get everything all good. Oh, and uh, actually turn on the GPS steering. There we go. All right, so I'm going to cut this field. I'll go back and cut that field, and I'll be back when we're ready to drop off at the silo over there for the second time this year. All right, finishing up one more, or yet again, we still have one more of these to do, but I think uh, I'm definitely going to be upgrading my tractor as soon as possible. It just it struggles going up some of these hills, and it's, it's struggling to get up to full operating speed. I'm usually able to do upwards of 20 miles an hour, and this is just it's really, it's really slow. Um, get that unloaded there. Get that all in there. All right, so for our production chain, we now have... We're going to have upwards of 500,000 liters once we're done there. 
Let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to finish fertilizing. I th as a matter of fact, I think as, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to take out a loan to upgrade my tractor because it's just, it's so, I know you guys don't have to sit through it, but I do. And it's really, really slow. It's, I'm struggling really hard to get this done. So let's actually go ahead and do that now. We're going to sell our current tractor as much as it's going to hurt to do that. And then we're gonna just gonna take out a massive loan. Oh, where'd my cursor go? We're gonna take out, where, where'd my cursor go? We're gonna take out a massive loan. So I would like to get, I'm gonna go ahead and since I'm not, we're not traveling very much, I like this tracked version, just cause it's cool. Um, let's see. For this one, so we definitely want the GPS. I'm just trying to get an amount that I need to borrow here. Uh, we don't want the GPS, we want the three point configuration. Um, do I want the EU or the US setup? I mean, we're in the United States. I just feel like that's really f spread out for no reason. You know, as much as I, as much as I, as much as I want to stick with the US as much as possible, I also don't want to have an overly wide setup like that. So yeah, we're gonna have to. I think this is the setup that I want. So we need to get up to like 450,000 to make sure we have enough money for the payments. So let's go ahead and do that as much as that hurts. Oh, this is going to be a big loan, but you know, it's going to make life so much easier doing it this way. Cause now my tractor is going to move much faster. So let's go ahead and do that and just suck it up and do it. And we'll make the payments on it. So we want the big engine. We want the EU set up. We want the GPS. We're going to buy that. So now, we're not going to struggle so hard to get, oh, I should have, oops, I should have moved these, but whatever, <laughs> it is what it is. So now this thing is not going to struggle at all to cut this stuff. So as we did last time, we need to, oops, how did I manage to pick the wrong one still? I was trying to, to tear that off. There we go. Now we can put this off because we need to fertilize the field again. But I will do that off camera. So, be back in a second. All right, and as before, we're gonna put this away, get ready for the next one. We have one more cutting to do before the end of the year, then we can sell off our silage and see how we're doing as far as money. So let's get this put away. We'll advance some time, get to the part where we're gonna cut, and then I'll, we'll do like we just did. I'll cut off camera. I, I want to hurry up and get you guys to the part where we're making some money because that's the fun part. <laughs> Cutting over and over again is not fun, and there's no real way for me to get around that off off camera either. I just kind of have to suck it up and do it manually. Well, that's okay. Quality content requires a little bit of sacrifice. So let's get this turned off. And just like we did, we will stand here and wait for the grass to grow to the point where we can cut it again. I believe, well, what month were we in a second ago? I think we were in July or August or something like that. A lot of times the third cutting is, uh, it ends up being kind of a short one because we don't have enough time left in the year, but I think we might get a full, a, a full, a full third harvest this time. I don't normally get that. I only, normally I get two full harvests and then like a partial growth because I get into uh, December when there's not enough, uh, the grass won't grow in December, January, and February. But I think we'll. I think we happen to get lucky, and this is going to be a third, uh, a full cut for the third, a full, a full, full on growth for the third cut here. I don't know why I, my brain is just will not parse that properly. I don't know why. But we're gonna finish this, get ourselves lined up for the thing, and start cutting this field for the third time this year. Then we'll advance time to January, which is silage selling month, and we'll be ready to go. So you can see this thing does not struggle at all to move with this attached, but I do need to get the GPS turned on for this. So I'll see. And then we go into the menu and then we turn it into heading mode and then we have to set a heading. We're going to set it for 90, just like we did. I'm going to move it over to align it. Get everything lowered where it's supposed to be. Get everything turned on. And away we go. So you can already see how it's it's pushing us up much closer to 20. 
even going up this hill with all this weight on it. All that extra horsepower, look how much faster we're moving already. The small tractor will, ev will eventually get you up to that speed with all of this, but it just it takes a lot longer. So the amount of time you end up wasting, waiting on the acceleration to get where you want it to be is just oof, it's painful. Painful. So yeah, just gonna continue doing this like we did on all of the previous vert, all the previous runs of this, and uh, I'll see you guys back when we're done cutting the field. All right, we're finishing up this field, and I have to say it's worth every penny of interest <laughs> to have upgraded to this tractor. It is so, it, like it still takes time, but it doesn't take. Mm, I don't want to say nearly as much. It's, it. It feels much faster when I'm not struggling to get up to 20 miles an hour. The max operating speed for, I believe, the baler that we have is, is right around 20, like 19 or 20, something like that. Whew! And it makes a big difference. Those few miles an hour make a, a massive difference. The medium tractor could get up to close to that speed, but it's just, it takes a long time to get to it. And then, you, you know, you don't stay there very long because by the time it gets to it, you're at the end of the field and you have to turn around and you slow down again. So it's just it's an endless cycle of not having enough of what you need. So let's go ahead and get these unloaded over here. That will be all of our silage for the year. Okay, so let's see. I always have to remember how to do this. Uh, so, okay, cool. Unload it. Get this folded. Park back over by the field. I'm not going to bother doing. Um, I'm not going to bother doing fertilization this time because we just want to hurry up and get to the money. So we'll just park right here. Get the engine turned off, and we need to advance. Oh, so let's check the time. I'm pretty sure January is silage selling month. Yep, January is up there. So let's go ahead and. Advanced time until we get to January. Then we'll set our silo to our, our silage production to selling. That will get us the money that we need. And pretty much we're going to spend all of that paying down our loan because. <laughs> uh, let's see. Loan interest of $1,000 a month. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We may, we may keep that loan for a little while. I really should have I really should have put it on a lease, but uh, I don't know. I really should have put it on a lease because at least then the money we're putting into it would go towards you know doing what we need. Wait for the sleep. So we'll get into January. We'll hop into our production menu, set it to sell, and we'll see how much money we made. Eventually, the sleeping part of this takes a little bit. Dum dum dum. Okay, so now we go into here. We go to our silage. We have a half a million liters to sell at the maximum rate. We don't have anything else to do, so we're just going to go ahead and sleep through. That will automatically sell all of our stuff. We just have to always remember to go back into our production change and change it back to storing so that we don't accidentally sell silage uh, at the wrong price because that's a horrible way to go. Okay, $175,000. Very nice. So we're going to go ahead and set this back to storing now. And we're going to go back into our loan. Ooh, it hurts. Okay. Um, we'll sell... Well, how much do we need... How much do we need for the next field... For the next set of fields down here? So... This one... Hmm... I may put some loan back on here so we can buy this field. That way we can increase our production. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's uh, let's get back up to, say... Well, we have to have enough money to pay our loan back throughout the year, so... Ugh. That's a hard decision. Let's go ahead and buy this, because this is going to make us... This is going to allow us to make a lot more money. Uh, let's buy it. Okay... 
And then we'll hold on to the remaining balance. It's still going to be a lot of money every month. We may have to end up borrowing more money to pay back our loan. But this is going to drastically increase our production. So anyways, hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a continuing commitment, there is the thanks button for a one-time tip. Your direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys are enjoying building this very first farm with me, and I will see you for the next one.